Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to see few of the interview questions that are asked at Infosys company. So this was one of the interview round that was attended by one of my subscriber and he has shared those questions with us. So request you to please uh, prepare for these kind of questions. It's not necessary that uh, once you will get selected at Infosys, then you will get all these questions. But uh, you might get these questions in other companies as well, right? So I'll uh, quickly share my screen and I'll show you the questions also. And if you are also giving any such kind of interviews, then please do share questions with us, which can help the community. So that would be of great help. Okay. So here is the email that I had received. I attended Infosys technical round one and attended Infosys technical round two. Round one was easy and most of the questions were from your videos and round two, I have faced some more new questions. So what are all the questions I remember I have added above. Big thank yous to you, sir. You are doing such a wonderful job. So he has shared these questions and he has also asked us to share more scenario based managerial round questions. So we have already started creating videos last week itself. We had uploaded a video for managerial round. Right now, let's see to this question. So he is actually belonging to the automation profile. That's why most of the questions are for test automation. Explain about yourself. Explain about framework used in your project. Implicit weight and explicit weight in Selenium. Difference between super and this keyword. Ask to write simple XPath. First, search Google. Write XPath. Okay. Test ng annotation types and flow of annotation. You are running thousand test cases out of that only two hundred passed and remaining failed. How to run only failed test cases? Right. You have found major defect in your application on Friday night, but Saturday go live is going to happen. At that time, what you will do? There are two weeks of sprint, and there are five user stories out of that. You are able to test only three user stories. Two are not completed at that time. Then how will you convince the clients? How do you pass? Test case in Jira. Is it manually or some automation you are using? JMeter, how do you add samplers? How to pass cookie in JMeter sampler? 1000 users are hitting the same application at same time. How do you allow them? Is all 1000 users you allow or how do you do? Then can you add multiple catch block for single try block? Emulator and simulator concept. There are 100 links in web page. How do you count that? and which locator do you use for finding the XPath? Okay, which one is best to use? What are the types of XPath? Any way to test scripts in different browsers with same machine, same script? Okay. Information about collections you have used in your project. What is the difference between before test and before method in testng? Different git commands you used in the project. Tell about your project and responsibilities, different types of Java exceptions you have faced in your project. How do you handle different windows in Selenium? Explain about switch to and how do you use that? Different priorities you used in testng. How do you use JS files in your scripts? Okay, then this is a pyramid kind of a coding program that he was asked. Then if the input is today is Friday, reverse the words in string. Friday is today. This should be the output. Input is B12 AR. Need to fetch only numbers from the string. Okay. So these are few of the questions uh, shared by him. Right? If any of you are not comfortable with any of the answer which needs to be given in the question, then please do comment in the comment section of this video. We'll come up with a separate video on covering the answers also of those particular questions because I think most of the questions have already been answered in the mock interviews. Those are scheduled, right? So if you also want to give the mock interview, you can share your CV at this particular email address, which is RD automation learning at the rate of gmail.com. You can share your CV at this. Also, you can subscribe our channel RD technical learning, right? Which is covering which is having most of the important videos on Java interview questions, Python interview questions, and you can also get to know about various job opportunities that are there, right? So please do subscribe these channels and 
would be connecting with you virtually soon in another video right thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for more updates